So, how are we doing this week, guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to RCA Exotics. Um, so, uh, this week I was contacted by a friend um, to see if I could take in to rescue reptiles. Uh, they're both actually geckos. Um, one was a toke gecko and the other one is a leopard gecko. So, I agreed to take them in anyway. And the toke um, is... It, it, it's a giant asshole, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly healthy from what I can tell. Um, it's behaving perfectly normal. Um, I'm going to show you that guy now in a minute. But uh, the other one now, the leopard gecko, the leopard gecko is incredibly unhealthy. He has severe metabolic bone disease, um, which I'm going to show you now again in a minute. Um, but it also may have an infectious disease called crypto. So I've had to keep it... Um, kind of cordoned off away from the rest of my animals but hopefully it doesn't have crypto because if it does have crypto crypto is 100% fatal and there is no chance of me saving it but if it has metabolic bone disease which is what I suspect it has I'm hoping that I may be able to save it it's incredibly underweight at the moment has a couple of deformities but uh, I'm hoping with getting some calcium into it and a special type of food that was recommended by a uh, somebody who knows their stuff about leopard geckos thank you loads and loads of magic um hopefully we may be able to nurse this one back to health but uh first anyway i'll introduce you to the asshole of a toke gecko called togepi the girlfriend named it after togepi from pokemon so i'm going to introduce you to him now so here's toka togepi the toke toke gecko there at the back he is an absolute asshole and it seems to absolutely hate me already. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is his setup here. I have plenty of branches and stuff. I need a log behind there to go. And that light, um, it's probably not really coming up on this, but that's actually a blue light. Because um, these guys are not a fan of uh, UV because they're night active. So uh, I made sure to try and get a red or a blue bulb. I had a blue bulb, so I used that. Um, red is the best to give them, but I don't have a red bulb at the moment, so I will replace that with a red bulb soon. But let's see how close I can get without him trying to eat me. He is a gorgeous, gorgeous boy. He's almost fully grown. Um, Toka geckos are one of the se are the second biggest species of gecko uh, in the world, and this guy is quite big. And anyone who does not know this, um, Toka geckos give quite bad bite. Um, these guys are capable of, they get locked jaw sometimes, so when they bite onto you, sometimes they can hang on for a bit. So this guy is not really a handler at all. He's a bit more like my tarantulas. He's going to sit here and just look pretty. But he's doing well anyway. So I'm going to introduce you now to the leper gecko. And this is the one that is quite sick. So this is Noodles, the uh, very sick leper gecko. As you can see... He's not really able to open his eyes very well. He has a bulge on the side of his head there. His body is very thin. His tail is deformed to hell. Toes deformed. He's actually quite, or she, is actually quite active, which is good. Um, but again, because at the moment I'm not sure if it has this crypto thing, so I am avoiding touching it as much as possible. And anything that does come in contact needs to be decontaminated. Um, just in case it infects anything else in my collection, because this is crypto is infectious to most other reptiles, and I do have another leopard gecko here, so I definitely do not want to get that one sick. But hopefully, we are going to be able to nurse this guy back to health. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated on it as it goes. As you can see, she's quite alert. You know, she's quite active considering how 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 sick she is. But you can see that tail, that tail is just so deformed and obviously not as fat as a normal leopard gecko should be. I'm not sure if I can get the right angle with the camera here, but you can literally actually see, nearly see the leopard gecko's spine, it's that underweight. So it has uh, a few issues eating, obviously with not being able to open its eyes very well. It has issues finding finding and catching its food, so we're trying to feed it a specialty food called called bug bug pie rupashi bug pie um 
which is a good power food because it has calcium and all sorts of other stuff in it but I am also giving it a small amount of calcium as well just to try and get as much calcium into its system as possible but she's a little hide over there she has gone to the toilet which is good um, the tank is fairly bare other than that just because of the fact that um, at the moment this is essentially just a treatment tank eventually hopefully if 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 noodles here manages to survive and does i do manage to nurse her back to health hopefully eventually she can go in with um with tobin's the other leopard gecko but at the moment i'm not even going to think about that until i can get this one back to health um which could take months to be honest but we're going to try our best to save this leopard gecko and again anyone in the in, in Ireland if you ever have a reptile please don't do what these people did and just dump these these two were dumped outside of a pet shop luckily the pet shop was friends with a friend of mine contacted me and these were sent to me but please do not be irresponsible like these pe people's previous owners were and just leave them dumped outside a pet shop uh, it's not fair on the animals there's always somebody willing to take them in and try and help you know if these people had come to me and told me look these animals are sick i don't know what happened to them i what didn't know what i was doing caring with them fair enough no questions asked i would have just taken them and done my best to try and save them but they were lucky to end up with me so hopefully i will be able to save this one and as i already said the toke gecko is perfectly okay it's just an asshole but uh, anyway, so I thought I'd end this week's video after that sadness of the unhealthy leopard gecko. I thought I'd end this week's video with a nice little shot of toe beans, the uh, the other leopard gecko that I got from Magic there recently, who is she's doing great. She's actually I think she's going into shed at the moment. Her head's a little paler than normal, but again you can see with her, that's what a normal leopard gecko's tail should look like. You know, big and fat and straight. So, you know, hopefully soon we'll get we'll get noodles that new leopard gecko, um, looking healthy and happy, like toe beans here. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you again next week. And I upload every Sunday. Bye.